Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver-impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics Advanced Media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the Life Straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR Hand Crank Generator, to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation, 3rd Edition by Joel Skousen. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Coast to Coast Direct from Austin, you're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Waging war on corruption. Weekdays, 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. Back Sundays, 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern. Infowars.com. And you've got to understand, it's not just a filmmaker with no criminal record who, I looked at the campaign laws, uh, they might get him if they can prove that uh, he lied to the FBI, but, but they can't get him over the donations. And then Obama does stuff thousands of times worse and doesn't get in trouble. That doesn't hold water. This is Obama's Justice Department. We now have learned for a year behind the scenes harassing Dinesh D'Souza, who's met with him a whole bunch of times. And they're probably taking one statement he made and claiming it was not true. I mean, I had the FBI calling up here right before Obama deception came out in March of 2009. Obama had been in office two months. They were calling different employees asking about the Obama deception from the San Francisco field office. And then they showed up here with a subpoena claiming it was about somebody making threatening comments on the Internet, but it was really a fishing expedition. And I told them that. And they came here with an Austin cop who, who brought them. And, and, and again, the, the average FBI person, they're never bad. They're really not. They're just here as errand boys to try to find something. And I said, look, I'm not talking to you. I've done nothing wrong. I don't know what you're trying to get me to say. Uh, you're not even saying why you're really here. Get what you're here with the subpoena and get out of here. And that's how it works. What do you say to the police? Nothing. What's the second thing you say to the police? Nothing. What's the third thing you say? Nothing. What's the fourth thing? Nothing. What's the fifth thing? Nothing. What's the sixth thing? Nothing. And why? Because I've done nothing wrong. This government's known to be criminal up one side and down the other. I'm done talking to the government. I'm done. The cop was running through my yard saying, you see a guy run through here? I'd say, yeah, right there. But I, that's a beat cop. I'm not talking to anybody. So you can talk to me one month and a month later, and my memory's a little different. And you twist it and charge me. That's what they're doing to Dinesh D'Souza, who made the second highest grossing documentary ever about 
bringing the left and right together around free market, around the Bill of Rights and Constitution, selling minorities who are really the majority on being part of the American dream and showing them statistically that socialism, collectivism creates a living hell. That's why that film was so wholesome. That's why I had Dinesh D'Souza on multiple times to promote his film. By the way, I've gotten so busy with the new website designs that we're almost got done and the new studio and a bunch of TV stuff and a bunch of upgrades that, you know, I just keep getting behind on Obama Deception too. And I was going to put it out late last year. I'm still adding to it. Stuff keeps happening. Now is time. I'm going to put it out. I'm going to speak at Oxford in the middle of uh, March as well. But we'll, 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 we'll try to shoot for late March, maybe April. I, I don't know. To really chronicle and... and the film is about, and I've been making it for two years, that if we don't impeach Obama, he will try to set the precedent for dictatorship in America and will start persecuting his political enemies openly by arresting them. I said if the IRS harasses people and the NSA harasses the Associated Press and Fox News, and I'm on an enemy's list, and Matt Drudge is on an enemy's list, and World Net Daily is on an enemy's list, and you know I get followed by cars, and I get death threatened by people that are listening to the phone. This hasn't happened in a while, but it's happened under Obama's watch where they let you know they've been listening. And it's like, wow, you really are a coward. You really want to live in the Soviet Union. You really want to live in North Korea. That's how real it is. And people better just get this through their head. That now that they've gotten away with all this, next they're going to go for everything. And if people put up with it, I mean, the Republican leadership said two weeks ago, you know what, you decide to do with the NSA that's openly illegal. And you decide to do what what you want on Obamacare, because the Republican leadership helped write it and is fighting the Tea Party. And you decide what to do on the power plants, and you decide what to do on the open borders, and you decide, you decide here. We'll just get, he's told Congress, you legalize the 30 million illegals. They say it's 11 in the news, it's 30, including aggravated felons, or I'll just do it on my own. He already legalized several million illegals last year. Totally illegally. I'm going to explain this again. The president is an executive who executes what the board of directors, the Congress, tells him. And the referees are the courts. Or the president's the quarterback commanding the troops. And then you've got the referees that are the courts. And then you've got the coaches and the coaching staff that are the Congress. And they call the shots, folks. That's the Constitution. Go read it. First, it's, oh, well, it's co-equal. It was never co-equal. Congress is in charge. Go read the founding papers. Go read the Federalist Papers. It's Congress, the courts, then El Presidente. Because you want to keep a president on a very short leash, ladies and gentlemen, because every other country, they saw presidents or new prime ministers try to become dictators. And whether you think they were good or they were bad, you would get a lot of people who just tried to set themselves up as king again, like Oliver Cromwell, Lord High Protector. And the point is, is that people end up just getting Lord High Protectors, whether you think they're good or bad, whether you think Napoleon Bonaparte was good or bad. The point is, the man on the white horse comes, Napoleon rode a white horse, that's why you hear that saying, and we're here again. Do you understand that? I mean, look at the news today. I I've got news coming up in the next hour I haven't even hit yet, where I told you, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan Chase, HSBC, they're all announcing you're not going to be able to get cash out. They're all announcing they're not going to let you deposit cash. They're all announcing they're not going to let you do foreign wire transfers. That has a name. It's called, wait for it, currency controls. And if you're a new listener or you're somebody that plays the stock market and you think you're real savvy and you're not, folks, every switch they throw to bring in a tyranny, they're flipping the last ones. Hundreds of switches have been thrown. Everything is prepared. BBC reports HSBC imposes restrictions on large cash withdrawals. We're talking $3,000. And BBC went in and confirmed, you go in and try to get 10000 they go, nope. 5000 they go, nope. 3000 okay, maybe. And they say, we want to know where you're spending it, as if cash is illegal. This is, this is, this is after-tax cash in the bank they're saying you can't get out. And the police have been taught all over the U.S. that if you're caught with $1,000, it's illegal. How many squad car videos are on YouTube where they go, you got $1,000 in here. Where'd you get that? I'm going to test this. And if I find drugs, they know almost all money has drugs on it. And then they use that with some kangaroo judge. Let's see if we can get us a verdict in here. We're going to take your car, too. You in New Mexico, that this was the case last year, you're not going to let us keep your cash. We're going to keep you in solitary confinement without trial two years. I mean, you really want to turn loose every thug to be a, a criminal in a, in a uniform or behind a judge's station?
And I'm not saying all the judges are bad. I'm not saying all the police are bad. You better stand up. You better speak out. You better be the light in the world because this isn't a joke. And again, the good news is I hear talk radio. I don't care if it's the biggest conservative host in this country, the biggest libertarians, the local host I listen to every week that do a really good job on 590 AM, Sergeant Sam, and um, of course, people like uh, Mark Caesar. I'm just mentioning a local group. I mean, even the liberal on the show uh, who, who's on with those... Clemens is now backing off, freaking out. Yes, you're supposed to freak. I listen to local San Antonio, local Dallas, local Houston. They're all starting to freak out. I go on Democrat shows on CNN radio in Dallas. They're freaking out. I go on, you name it, folks, people, this is real. This is real. Okay? Tyranny comes in lots of outfits. It doesn't come like Joe Stalin and Hitler 60, 70 years later. It comes through high-tech bureaucracy and Barack Obama. Look at these headlines. Obama launches purge against political enemies. So huge. There's the video. And we have the clip of Bob Barr. We're going to play in the next hour where he was on Thursday. Six hours before the Dinesh D'Souza situation broke. I had already been told by sources that they're preparing hundreds of indictments against talk show hosts, uh, filmmakers, you name it. That's why I was freaking out. And I told him, it's a 30-minute interview or 40-minute interview. We're going to play a short clip where he talks about impeachment. I said, you have a lot of courage. They could blow your airplane up. And, and, and off air, he said I was right, and on air, he basically agreed with it. But that's coming up, a short clip of that in the next hour. But it's red-linked in the article up on Infowars.com. Obama launches chilling purge against political enemies. We're going to have to do what Ted Cruz did two weeks ago where he said Obama is dangerous and frightening and is becoming a dictator. you got to call it like it is, or they normalize the takeover and then Katie bar the door. Oh, look, here's the news today, dovetailing with ours. Bloomberg. D'Souza pleads not guilty to U.S. campaign donor violations. Governor pleads not guilty. They're totally not guilty. Now let's move on here. Homeland Security Secretary, illegals have earned right to be citizens. We'll legalize them all by fiat. Bloomberg. Obama's plan to use executive action triggers criticism. It should trigger arrest. White House warns Obama could go around Congress, AP. They're just testing to see if we'll go along with it. Obama, to anyone out there who's ever been assaulted, I've got your back. I'm going to talk about that in the next hour. House Republicans to offer a broad immigration plan, caving into Obama because the same people pay him off. But the Tea Party won't sell out, so the Republican and Democratic leadership are on record pooling all their money with the big national associations and all the fake Republican groups to gut them. And once the Tea Party falls, folks, they are going to loot everything and economically bankrupt us for control. If you want to save your future, your pension funds, and your children, now's the time to act. This isn't coming in the future. It's happening now. A military takeover of America run by foreigners that hate our guts. Second hour coming up. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. 
Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. 